Right then, a uh, quick guitar tutorial for Jake Buff Seen It All. Uh, fairly straightforward song, seven chords, maybe eight. Um, there's a little bit at the end that I could show you. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Capo on two, standard tuning, and your intro chords, there's four of them. It is E minor, C, a G, I'm playing the G with the, using the top string, and then obviously the top two chords, which is fifth string, second fret, and sixth string, third fret. That's a G, and then you're doing the D add nine, which is third fret for your second string, third string is on the second fret, and second fret for your sixth string, D add nine. That's your four chords. Takes you through your intro, which you do twice round of that. So E minor, C, G, D add nine. Do that twice, and then into your verse one, two, and three are all using those same chords in the same sequence. Um, right, strumming wise, when you play it, start off just strumming, and then slowly, what you do is you go. Emphasizing the first down up stroke. So. When you're changing, it's the up stroke that makes the sound that you get out of the song. So I'll play the first intro bit and verse one just to show you what I mean. So. A pill or maybe two Down at the car park I saw everyone I knew And before the night was started We had planned to crash a park Just to place that someone knew Local house belonging to the gangsters And then you play it through to the second verse. As you come to the end of the second verse, <coughs> excuse me, you play the E minor. Friend took me aside, let me wind here as a night. I've seen it all. You start strumming the uh, on the D add nine, leading into the next chord. Um, your next chords in your chorus, four of them again. Instead of playing a normal C, you're moving your finger up to the sixth string and adding your pinky on underneath it to keep the C, so that's C over G now. So that's a bit more bass to it. So uh, C over G is the start of the chorus. Moving into the G again, as before. But this time you're playing a D, not a D add nine. So it'd be C over G, G, D, then you come back again, you do C over G, but this time you go into A minor, then G, then D, and then you do one line of your intro again, E minor, C, G, D add nine. So I'll play that one through slowly, so I'll just come to the end of the second verse, leading into it, so... Three, one, here at Again. I swear to God, I've seen it all. A minor, nothing shocks a G. Four D, two, nine. Just dab on the E minor. G, D at nine, into verse three. Those little dots that set my mind in harmony. And like I said, verse three is exactly the same comes into the next chorus along, you play exactly the same chorus as I've just showed you. The difference is you're coming back to the chorus again. Um, so it's... All I've seen it all I swear to God I've seen it all Nothing shocks me anymore I'm Playing this bit twice 
twice now. Same as your intro. E minor, C, G, D add nine, and back into the chorus part again. Ah, I see it all. Down on the C and slow everything right down then. So, swear to God I see it all. Nothing shocks me anymore. Now, at this bit, you're playing the C, G, A minor, G to finish. But you're playing these slowly. So, you once you hit the C, start playing on these higher strings here. The, Top strings on this bit, that's what I think he does. Um, so it's nine. I've seen the light, but not the kind I would have liked. Now, when I come back to the G, the ending, I don't play it with the finger on the top string, I move it up a string to the second string on the third fret. Keep the top two. So it'd be uh light. I would have light. Sounds better. Finishes the song off nicely. Um that's it really. Anything else I can show you? Yeah I noticed on the uh Radio One Live Lounge performance that he was doing just a little bit he, he his chord movements are a lot smoother than the way I play it. And what you can do is you can either play it play an E minor, C, and then he moves these two fingers up, adds the pinky to the top string for the G. And then when he's playing that, he adds his index finger to that top string, ready to release everything and bring these two fingers down, which is a lot smoother action to watch it. So you can play it that way if you want, that's the way he does it. And equally so, I did notice him adding a few little bits and lifting a few pinkies off here and there. Um, it was mainly on the C and the D add 9, he did that I think so. Yeah, just a little something else to throw in there. I think that's about it. I think that covers it. Um, Jake Book, seen it all. Thank you very much.